Jalan Syarik Road Defense. So, as you know, I'm your host for this program. I'm Saudah Saad. We'll take you guys all around Malaysia in order to uh, dig more about what road defects is. So, uh, for this episode, I'm taking you guys to Section 7 Shah Alam. Uh, recently, I've got several reports from the residents about the road defects that occur along their uh, road residential area. So today, I have several person with me uh, to, for me to interview and to know more about road defects. So let's check it out. for this program. Okay, Mr. Nakiuddin Clevely or as known as Mr. Clevely. Uh, I've got a report from you about the road defects that occur in this residential area. Yes. So, what is uh, it is really about? So, can you explain? Okay, actually... Uh, okay, you can hold, you okay. can hold the microphone. Actually, uh, uh, this road, uh, I see from, from my faculty, uh -huh. I can see the lacunal Right over here. That's really serious. Yeah, they're they oh. really uh, clearly clear, crystal clear. Oh, crystal yes. clear. See it, okay. Okay, so in my research, oh, okay. I have some problem about this lacunar uh, cracking. Uh -huh. By effect of for the lacunar cracking, uh -huh. when it's allow too many moisture infiltration, oh. it causes a lot of problem. That was seriously very yes. bad. Yes. Too much uh, moisture content mm -hmm. can uh, allow the alligator cracking, okay. and the structure also can be failure. Oh, so the when the water uh, inside the road is too much, so they fill the pavement with the water, so the cracking will spread a lot. Okay. So uh, yes, that sounds really worse. So do you want to add anything, Mr. Lucky? So what is your your hope so that the government so, um, or the PWD can... I really wish the uh, local authorities or uh, the pihak bertanggung jawab okay. they uh, take and, authorities and, yes, they take an action uh -huh. to uh, repair or to overcome this problem Do you have anything more? Ah, uh, no, no Okay, yes, <laughs> thank you Mr Naki Okay, what's such a very brilliant opinion from Mr Naki? So guys, if there is a road defects that occur in this residential area, so we need to get uh, a few a few uh, representatives from local authorities. Okay, so guys, let's follow me. Uh, uh, excuse me sir, can I yes? help you for an interview? Are you not? Don't interview in, in the middle of the road. Come. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the roadside. One. Okay. Now with me is Mr. Az Mr. Az Mr. Z Azrael Brenningen. <laughs> or as known as Mr. Brenningen. Am I right? Brenningen. Brenningen. Okay, I'm sorry viewers. Brenningen. Okay, Mr. Azrael. Uh, you look very serious. Uh, checking about the road defect. So can you tell me? What? Uh, are you doing there? I want to know this. Uh, you can hold this microphone if you want. Ah no. Okay, okay, I can hold this. One. I want, I want to know mm -hmm. there are two type of crack. So to repair it, we need to know the severity and the extent of the cracking. Okay. Okay. First of all, mm -hmm. uh, it is a uh, half inch wide and infrequent crack, which is low severity crack. But, oh, it's not very severe. Uh, it's, it's not severe. very severe. So to to repair it, first crack seal uh, to prevent entry mm -hmm. of moisture into subgrade mm -hmm. uh, through crack and for the okay. of and then the hot mix apart can provide years of satisfactory service. After developing small crack, if the if they are keep sealed. Okay, the second one is. Uh, we, when the crack is uh, more than half inch wide mm -hmm. and numerous crack, mm -hmm. which is high severity crack. Okay. Okay. Uh, to repair it, uh, first we remove the crack pavement layer and replace it with new one uh, with an overlay. Okay. 
Okay. Mr. Azrael, did Zep bring this? Is Zep Azrael bringing it? Look very serious in order to, to overcome this road effect. So, uh, let's get some other uh, representative from other authorities in order to learn more. So, take five. We meet again after this commercial. Hey guys, meet again. Okay, here with me, we have two representatives from Asas Siap Consultant. Okay, hi. Hi. Miss Zara, is it? Yeah. Oh, and, oh, sorry, you can't move him. Mr. Irham Aragon here with us. Okay, uh, this is a engineer from Asal Siap Consultant. Okay, what can you guys tell us about this road defect, the longitudinal cracks? Okay, actually, um, longitudinal cracks uh, is uh, parallel to the pavement center line or a uh, lay down direction, which is um, which is, is uh, the same direction as the vehicle move. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is uh, but it uh, different with horizontal horizontal cracking mm -hmm. uh, with 90 degree from vehicle move or road direction. Okay, okay it can be a top. Uh, it, it can be a type of fatigue cracking or top down cracking, which is um, fatigue cracking means uh, it cannot carry the load from the vehicle. Okay, okay. and then locking, longitudinal cracking uh, apparently as the onset of fatigue cracking, which is uh, the weak pavement actually. Then uh, longitudinal cracking is uh, from longitudinal joint construction. Um, okay, the causes my assistant will tell the info. Okay, okay, as you know, longitudinal crack is uh, not commonly problem that occur on the road, yeah? On the road, yeah. So <laughs> can you please tell us about what is the cause about this road defect? Okay. Of road okay, defect. about the causes of the longitudinal cracking. Okay. okay, as we know that there are high volume of vehicle here, uh -huh. as we know it's a residential area and so many users will use the road. So because of the repeated traffic of this, it will cause the longitudinal cracking. Oh, okay. uh, and then there are two types of pavement actually. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For this our case is thin pavement. Uh -huh. So thin, thin pavement is uh, the cracking will start at the bottom of the layer. Uh -huh. So the the factor that cause the cracking is the tensile stress okay. which is higher at the bitumen bituminous layer okay. and then the second type is uh, what is called thick, thick pavement right yeah yeah thick, thick pavement uh, the thick pavement is a common that they start from the top of the layer okay. uh, so that is the difference uh, between the thick and thin pavement yeah. so yeah, thin yeah, pavement yeah. is the norm, normally depth for this re for the residential uh, location yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, for okay. the thick pavement is uh, usually at the highway at yeah. the expressway the yeah. high oh. cost maybe High cost. Uh, high cost, very yeah. high cost. Yeah. So, um, uh, I think there, is, there are uh, several factors right, that cause the longitudinal cracking, mm -hmm. which are uh, besides of the repeated uh, loading traffic, uh -huh. there is a poor joint construction, mm -hmm. and then the hot meets asphalt fatigue, uh, reflective crack from the underlying mm -hmm. layer, and also the uh, vitamin hardening when they are doing the construction. So the vitamin is hardened before the root pavement is done. So that sounds really serious, isn't it? Yeah, really serious. Okay, if we keep on waiting without no treatment, it may become very severe. Okay, so what is your hope, you guys? Your hope uh, in order uh, to maintain the root surface uh, we are with no defect. the uh, labor uh -huh. to reconstruct the not reconstruct we do the maintenance mm -hmm. for the road so that the uh, the, the road become uh, rehab and not so spread out the cracking lah, because the longitudinal cracking will spread out as the crocodile cracking so it's mm -hmm. more serious if uh, there are there are no rehabilitation of the road okay uh, so mr. Irham Ergen wow look very arrogant do you want to add anything else very arrogant yeah, very arrogant. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's very arrogant. It's very serious. I hate this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that all? Or do, you, do you guys want to add anything? 
Uh, I think oh, it's too late to end. No, you let everything. No. Yeah, we have a meeting, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. I would like to say thank you. Yeah, thank you. A very massive thank to, to, uh, to both engineers from Asal Siap Consultant. They are very funny and arrogant. Okay, guys, that's the end of our program. So, if I do, so I hope that you guys had more had enough information about what is the occurrence, the treatment, and how to overcome the road defects that is longitudinal cracks. What a very what a tiring day. So I'm very exhausted. I'm going to have some chandel. Come follow me. Bye. See you.